Hi dear students, this is Narsing. So today we need to discuss averages topic in aptitude part. So let's start with the lesson now. Average, what do you mean by average? According to your knowledge, what is average? According to 10th class, what is average? So average is nothing but uh, sum by numbers, right? That is a formula we have, right? So average is nothing but sum by numbers. Okay, fine. If I give a small question, try to solve the question with the formula, right? The question is 20, 30, 40, 120, 70. These are the given numbers. Find the average of all these five numbers. How to get the answer here now? So according to formula, directly we can substitute it like this, right? Add the sum first. 20 plus 30, 50, 50 plus 40, 90. So don't add like this because we are not kids, right? So we need to add the questions in different way. So we, are, we need to add the numbers in a different way because we are not kids, almost we are graduates, right? So that's why think it logically. So if you observe it here, 20 plus, if you want you can take like this, uh, 30 plus 70 will be what? 100, right? So 120 plus 40 will be 160 plus 20, 180. 180 plus 100 will be 280. So this total sum will be what here? 280. Now what is 280? Sum of all the numbers, right? 280 divided by how many numbers are there here? 5 terms, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 280 divided by 5 will be our answer. But how to get the answer in easy way? That is very important. Of course, I don't know 5 table. So I, even I don't know how to cancel with the 5 table. Then in this case, how to get the answer? So of course, you love calc C. You can use the calculator in get exam. That's why easily you can get the answer. Or else you can apply a small trick here. Observe it now. 280 by 5 can be taken as what? Into 2 by 2. That's it. If I take into 2 by 2 concept, so 5 2 is a, it can be 10, right? Right. Here we have 0. 0 and 10 can be cancelled. 28 2 is a will be our answer. 28 2 is a how much? 56. Answer will be 56. That can be our answer. This is a general way we have. Of course, everybody can do in this way only, right? Then what is your speciality? So how to get the answer in easy way? So without uh, taking any formula. That will be our uh, way of approach. So that's why don't depend on this one. To get the answer in easy way without sum by numbers concept, first of all we need to understand the basic concept of average part. So what is average actually? So if you understand the basic concept of average, need not to use any formula, simple point, right? So let's take the basic format of average. How to understand the average actually? Listen carefully now. Uh, if I give three numbers, so 30, 40, 50, these are the given numbers. Find the average of these three numbers. Directly sum by numbers will be our answer, right? So 30 plus 40, 70, 70 plus 50, 120. So 120 divided by 3 will be our answer. So 120 divided by 3 is nothing but what answer will be again? 40, right? This is average actually. But don't do like this, man. The average concept is the original concept of average is very simple. Listen carefully. If I subtract 10 from this number, if I subtract 10 from this number, it becomes 40. Yes or no? This subtracted 10 should be added to the small number. So 10 should be added to 30. Again, it becomes 40. If you observe the numbers now, every number is equated to 40, 40, 40, right? Yes, this is called average. Average is nothing but each number is equated. That's it. Of course, if you have three numbers, it is very easy to get the extra and below values. But every time it is not possible, right? If I go for five numbers, ten numbers, little bit difficult. That's why we need a formula. What is that formula? Average equal to sum by numbers. Even though, even though, without formula, we can crack this question for sure. It may be ten numbers, twenty numbers, thirty numbers. Okay. But how to crack that question? Let's go for the uh, easy calculation without taking any formula how to crack this question in easy way right so concept it more what do you mean by average here don't go for sum by numbers average concept is what each number is equated is it clear so let's start with the question 20 30 40 120 70 are the given numbers right assume any number as a average as a many number if you want you can take 50 60 70 as your wish uh, according to my knowledge i can take 60 as a temporary average so you will have one doubt. Sir, why we are taking 60? My intention is what? If I choose a particular number, few numbers should be above that number, few numbers should be below that number. Right? That's why I am choosing uh, in between. The smallest number will be 20, right? The biggest number will be what here? 120. That's why uh, on an average I can take 60 as a middle number. If you want, you can take 70 also, 80 also, as your wish. You can take any number, but you can get the answer for sure. But the condition is what? Few numbers should be above that number, 
few numbers should be below that number simple concept right uh, if i choose 60 if 60 is the temporary average how much short to 60 here 20 is 40 short to 60 yes or no that's why i'm taking minus 40 then what about 30 30 30 short to 60 yes minus 30 very good then what about 40 40 is 40 40 is 20 short to 60 right yes minus 20 then what about 120 120 is 60 above so because the temporary average is 60 but i have taken as 120 plus 60 extra is it clear then what about 70 70 exactly 10 extra right now we need to adjust below and above values as we know if you have negative and positive we can cancel them right so if you observe it now minus 40 minus 20 can be minus 60 this plus 60 gone right so 10 minus 30 can be minus 20 so the final output is what here why minus 20 actually each number is equated to 60 i have assumed the number as what 60 this is temporary average it may be right or wrong we don't know uh, finally we have got minus 20 right again this minus 20 should be distributed for all terms that's it nothing is there so minus 20 divided by how many terms are there here total five terms right so minus 20 by 5 will be minus 4 what is our temporary average 60 how much start we have minus 4 that should be subtracted that's it answer will be 56 same answer right so need not to go for any sum by numbers concept of course these are very round figure values that's why we can get the answer in easy way if you have different numbers like this i hope if i get positive number if i get positive number that should be added to the temporary average if i get negative number that should be subtracted nothing is there okay if i go for one more question here so just try to solve the question pass the video try to solve the question now i want to crack the question i want the answer in just 30 to 50 seconds turn your own way without calcium the question is uh, 162 153 148 next to 139 comma so one let's check 151 so these are the given numbers now how to find the average of these numbers now in this case little bit difficult right of course in a previous question we have all round figure values very easy to find the answer but in this case it is not possible right so that's why okay anyway if i go for the general calculation time wasting right that's why uh, let's take one more same logical way as you choose any number in between what is our biggest number actually here we have the biggest number can be 162 smallest number can be 139 it's better to go for 150 as a temporary average if you can choose 160 also 170 also as your wish but the condition is what if i choose a particular number few numbers should be above that number few numbers should be below that number right the best way is what 150 right so let's take 150 150 is a temporary average okay now we need to adjust extra and below values that's it nothing is there 162 how much extra for 150 plus 12 extra 153 plus 3 extra then what about 148 too short that's why minus 2 is it clear 139 minus 11 yes what about 151 plus 1 extra yes as we know the story go for negative and positive values if you observe it clearly minus 2 minus 11 will be minus 13 12 plus 3 will be 15 minus 13 well, observe now 12 plus 3 will be 15 15 minus 13 will be 15 minus 13 will be plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 we are getting right yes or no once again minus 2 minus 10 will be minus 13 15 minus 13 will be plus 2 again plus 1 already is there so total 3 extra yes this 3 should be distributed for all terms now right so 3 divided by how many terms are there here 1 2 3 4 5 5 terms again we can apply into 2 by 2 concept answer will be 0.6 more positive or negative positive that should be added to 150 answer will be 150.6 that can be our answer yes you will have one doubt here sir if i get negative value yes that 0 0.5 0 0.6 should be subtracted nothing is there right so this is a way of approach where but don't go for some by numbers concept it is time wasting right so this is this can be taken as what model number one so go for model number two so what is our question we have in model number two we need to find a missing term how to get the missing term here? So listen carefully.